Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing really well. In today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to create any terrain in the world using height maps. So in this scene over here, I have previously created the island of Tenerife. I'll just go to camera one. And as you can see, it's pretty awesome and it's a really quick thing to do. So in the next uh, few minutes, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we are gonna close this and we are gonna go to our Google over here. And the website that you need to go to is Skylines Map Generator and that is heightmap.skydog.pl. So we'll just click on that. Click OK, and you're going to be greeted with this screen over here. If you click on the eye icon, this uh, shows you a couple of different parameters. You can choose the area that you want to sample. So you can go up to 69 kilometers, but if we just zoom out i think we can actually just go to 100 so i think about just so that it fits in i think that 80 kilometers about 90 kilometers should do the trick and the rest of the options you can leave as default thereafter we can choose what we see and we would like to see the satellite image because this is what we are going to use as our texture map on top of our model and thereafter all you need to do is essentially export the height map from here and also export the bitmap as the texture so that's what we're going to do now and we are just going to come to here and we're going to download the PNG height map. So we're going to click on that and that's going to download. And we are also going to download the image map. So we're going to click on that. Okay. Now what we can do is we can just take those two files and go to 3ds max. So I have a new copy of 3ds max open already over here and what we can do is we can just zoom out quite a bit and we are going to double check what size our map was so we go to i and it's going to be so basically it's 90 kilometers by 90 kilometers and the max height is 3685 meters so that is the height that you need to have when you are essentially displacing your map so what we are going to do is we are going to create a plane and this plane is going to be 90 kilometers by 90 kilometers and because max doesn't really work very well at large scales we are going to scale that down to nine kilometers by nine kilometers and now if we zoom out we still can't zoom out because max is useless so we are going to go to 0 0.9 kilometers by 0 0.9 kilometers and now it works so if you didn't know that now you know that max doesn't work very very well in large large scale environments and i'm going to actually reduce that even more because it's going to be a lot easier for us to work so now what we can do is we can go to apply a modifier and that modifier will be the displacement modifier which is at the top over here displacement modifier and in our plane if we press f4 we can just increase the segments to 100 and 100 like this and i think we're probably going to need more so i'm going to go to 300 by 300 for the moment to start off with so now we're going to go to our displace map 
and we are going to choose the map that we saved so what we can go to here is go to map import and over here we have the different types of maps that you use so we need the height map for the displacement and we are going to click open and to get the displacement working we are just going to increase the strength of the displacement So that's obviously too much. So we're going to go there. And there we're starting to see our island appearing. And if you will notice, if you go come back to the plane and you increase your segments, the more segments you have, the more detail you're going to have in your model. The lower it's going to be, the less resolution you're going to have and it's going to become a little bit more muddy but it's up to you to choose what kind of resolution you desire so we'll just leave it at something like that and now what you can do is you can just import the bitmap with the color to place on top so what we can do for that is we can just go to f10 and you can choose whichever renderer you're using so it could be arnold and it could be corona or it could be v-ray so for this uh, instance we'll just use v-ray and we are going to just wait yes there we go now we can click on materials and we can go to our v-ray material over here there we go click OK and in the diffuse slot we are going to click bitmap and click OK now just find wherever your map is and we can choose when you export the file in the beginning you're going to be exporting it as a PNG unfortunately in Max, you cannot import a PNG because you clicked on bitmap when you are importing into the view slot. So all you need to do is you need to go into uh, Photoshop, for example, open this PNG and save it as a JPEG. So once you have saved it as a J JPEG over here, then you can click open and Max will be able to import it as a V-Ray uh, bitmap. So we are going to click OK. And now what we can do is we can apply it to our model. And there we go. And as you can see, that's already looking pretty cool. And thereafter, you can choose how much of the extrusion you want. Remember, it showed you in the beginning that the max height was three kilometers. Uh, I think it was 3.4, 3.8 kilometers. So you can uh, calculate the height from the shoreline to the top of the mountain. So you can know the correct scale. But you can also be creative and choose whatever height you want. And thereafter, you can add in some water. You can add in... Uh, using forest pack you can for example use forest pack and scatter by color so for example you can tell forest pack to scatter trees everywhere where there is green yeah so that's one thing that you can do and you can also add a sun like in the previous file that i showed you so over here you can add a v-ray sun and I added some water and I think it's looking quite interesting so it's as easy as that guys so hopefully that helped you out guys and if that did help you out please like and subscribe have a good evening cheers bye